today we're going to learn about algebra word problems. Let's say we have a problem, like a group of friends met for a tennis game. Each of them played with everyone else, and played with four times as many girls as boys. Bob played with five times as many girls as boys. A. How many people were there all together? And B. How many girls and boys were there? Now the problem states that Anne played with four times as many girls as boys. So let's label this column and. So, and played with four times as many girls as boys. So let's say that the number of boys, number of boys, B for boys, is equal to B. So the number of boys is equal to B. And she played with four times as many girls as boys. So the number of girls, the number of girls and verse G for girls, A for N, V for verse is equal to 4B or 4 times B. But the total number of girls, total number of girls is equal to 4B plus 1 because this 4B is the, are the number of girls excluding N. So, the total number of girls is equal to 4B plus 1. Now, the problem also states that Bob played with five times as many girls as boys. So. Bob played with five times as many girls as boys. So the number of boys, or the number of total boys, is equal to B. The number of boys is equal to B. But this B are the total number of boys, so it includes Bob. So this means that the number of boys Bob versed, B for boys, B for Bob, V for versed, is equal to B minus 1, because Bob is one boy. So, this means that the number of girls is equal to 5 times B minus 1, because Bob played with 5 times as many girls as boys. So, this is equal to 5B minus 5. Now, we know that the number of girls does not change. So this means that 4B plus 1 is equal to 5B minus 5. 4B plus 1 is equal to 5B minus 5. Now let's get the variables on one side and the numbers on the other side. So, we can add 5 to get rid of 5 on this side of the equation. And we know that whatever we do on this side of the equation, we have to do on this side of the equation. And we can subtract 4b from this side of the equation, from both sides of this equation, to get rid of 4b from this side. So we get 4b minus 4b cancels out. 1 plus 5 is 6, which is equal to 5b minus 4b is equal to b, and negative 5 plus 5 cancels out. So we get b is equal to 6. So, we need to find
find out how many people were there all together. To do that, we need to first find out the number of girls. So, the number of girls, number of girls, G for girls, is equal to 5B minus 5. So, 5. Now, we know the value of B is equal to 6. So, let's substitute B for 6. So, 5 times 6 minus 5, which is equal to 5 times 6 is 30 minus 5, which is equal to 25. So this means that the number of girls is equal to 25. So the total people, oops, so the total number of people, T for total, number of people, P for people, is equal to 25, which is the number of girls, plus 6, which is the number of boys. This is equal to 31. So this means that there are a total of 31 people all together. So the answer to question A, which is how many people were there, is equal to 31 people. And the answer to question B, which is how many girls and boys were there, is B. There were six boys and 25 girls. Today we learned about algebra word problems. Thank you for watching this video.